sorts of different ways. And <laughs> I wanted to just, I wanted to just kind of stay on one thing that you you kind of brought up a couple times that I think is is really important. Is is you say kind of like Hedera needs to embrace retail, and I think that that's something that a lot of a lot of people have been talking about. But I wanted to just kind of pause there for a minute and maybe on that, you know. What do you mean by, you know, Hedera needs to embrace retail? Uh, in terms of um, seeing the network or the entities that are connected, the, the foundation, the association, uh, giving more exposure to the projects in the ecosystem. Because when you talk about us community members doing that, we definitely need to do that. But for example, if you have uh, the foundation or the association um, retweeting a, a post from a solid project, I'm not saying this, doing this for a project that uh, came to it yesterday and people right. don't know about, they don't know if it's going to work out, if not, but for the ones that are here for uh, a long time, that visibility from an ecosystem um, entity is a lot more uh, than even us all combined um, as a, as a yeah. community. So um, when I say Edera needs to embrace retail, is by doing that, giving more exposure to the native projects. It doesn't matter if it's an NFT, if it's a meme token, if uh, it's a team that it's here working for two years, they deserve that exposure. They deserve that support from the entities uh, that are here. Um, because they they've shown that they are here um, with a serious uh, vision in place. They are not just trying to to get age bars and walk away. No one does that for two or three years. It's it's just crazy. Like if you if you are going to rug, you are going to do it like a couple of months after or yeah. a year after when uh, it, things are so bad during the bear that you just decide to to disappear. So um, if you stayed here for this long you've shown that you are a solid project and that you are a solid builder, that you deserve that uh, that visibility, uh, that support, that visibility. And again, I'm not saying just support in terms of funds, in terms of grants, but visibility, because visibility goes a long way. It, it does. And you raise so many good points where it's not just about giving money or capital or capital or funding to projects or creators. It's about this awareness. It's about these types of things. And I think that you get at something really important. And I think that is, that is one of these kinds of uh, problems that I really think needs to be focused on is we go, okay, so Hedera is open to sharing all sorts of NFT stuff on their Twitter account. Amazing. That would be huge. The H bar foundation is down to do that. Great. The next question is, how do they know what to talk about, right? Because to your point, it's it's really important to be sharing the right things, to be talking about the things that matter most to the community, to be sharing the projects and content that will drive growth to the ecosystem. And then there's, how do you do that? Does Do these organizations go, hey, community, what do we talk about? Do they get submissions or how is that handled? And, and where I go in my mind is I think that the really hard truth lies in kind of that question is Hedera shouldn't be asking that question. Hedera should know, right? These organizations should just know as we know they should be buying NFTs. They should be using these products. They should be communicating with these creators because they, then they would just know what to post. They would just know what to engage in. We saw recently, um, I think it was, uh, Coinbase, uh, putting up a new position for hire. That's, um, head of crypto Twitter, somebody who's going to get paid 200 grand a year to post on Twitter. Um, that's fantastic. And so we're starting to see a lot of the, and, and again, Coinbase is a, one of the, one of the highest market cap stocks that you can buy. So we're not talking about just some crypto project. We're talking about something uh, 10, 100 times bigger than Hedera hiring a Twitter specialist. So in my mind, and I don't know if you agree with me on this, but I think that's the problem there is that maybe they, maybe Hedera and some of these folks in leadership maybe just don't know what exactly to talk about because maybe they're not using the, the ecosystem in the same way we are. Mm -hmm. And this is where, uh, and uh, that uh, that mention to, to Coinbase is a, is a perfect example. This is where you need someone that has um, a deep connection with, uh, with the retail side that understands um, what are the projects that people value? Uh, what are uh, 
the dangerous ones because it's not only about uh, knowing how to to showcase a big project uh, there's smaller projects that can be showcased as well mm -hmm. as long as people uh, are aware um, of the dangers if you yeah. don't um, if you're not around the community you don't know if that smaller project does deserves to be showcased or not you don't know if the smaller project has red flags so this is where um being closer to the community, having someone that is closer to the community would definitely be a big advantage um, because, and Coinbase understood that. And yeah. like you said, they are hiring for someone to do exactly that. That person, of course, will have, um, will uh, will be extremely engaged with the community because otherwise, how can that person justify posting about this or that project? If they yeah. are, don't have um, engagement there, if they don't have skin in the game uh, in the retail side, so exactly, we we definitely um, need someone that can bridge that gap and um, have that uh, connection with the with the community, with NFTs, with DeFi, and can um, know and choose the ones that deserve that exposure. Uh, the ones that don't present those red flags, the ones that. Uh, Edero would not post about a project that yeah. would rug the next day. So yeah. this is the type of situation that <laughs> yeah. community engagement and being there uh, with us every single day is definitely something that is needed. Absolutely. And and there will be mistakes, right? It it would be it would be irresponsible not to remind people that um, you know people in leadership at Hedera, sometimes these official accounts themselves have shared projects that have rugged. They have shared things that have gone wrong. And when that happens, the solution is not to say, well, let's not post anymore. <laughs> you know, the solution is um, really about going, well, we need to get a better idea of what's going on. We can learn from this. We can because they're not the only ones that posted about it. Many other people in the ecosystem posted about it too. Exactly. So I think that it's both our successes that bring us closer together as an ecosystem, but we can't let our mistakes drive us apart. Right. And I think that that's been the hardest thing to see happen over the year from my perspective is people making all sorts of mistakes in this ecosystem, whether it's the governing council or the foundation or the community or wherever it is, and really starting to have it drive us apart in many ways. And I think that what we have to realize is that sometimes those things actually highlight how how similar we all are, that we all kind of make those same mistakes um, and we're all kind of in the same boat together.